Hi, I'm Jo McGurr, a registered nurse, certified in orthopedics, and I'm the Total Joint Replacement Coordinator here at Bay State Medical Center. I'm here to help alleviate some fears that you may have and some answer some questions that you may have. First of all, you should have already received from your physician a packet of information detailing what is going to happen each week that you prior to your surgery. When you come in, you all come in the night before surgery and you're going to come right upstairs to daily 6A. Remember, you don't get any nursing care the night before, so don't forget your medications. On the packet of information the physician gave you, he has listed out what medications that you need to stop ahead of time, so just refer back to that packet for what medicines you need to stop. Now when you get here the night before, a registered nurse will come in to see you and greet you. She will go over the information that's going to happen prior to your surgery, run through your surgery, over your pain medication, and answer any questions that you may have. The day of surgery, uh, your family is welcome to come in and go down to surgery with you into the pre-op area. They just need to arrive two hours before your scheduled surgery time. Your physician will let you know what time your surgery is. And our first surgery is 7.30 in the morning. Our last surgery could be up till three o'clock in the afternoon. But we do have open visiting hours during the day and your family is welcome to come and stay with you. When you come in and go down into the pre-op area, that's when you're gonna meet your anesthesiologist and he or she will go over your anesthesia plan with you and that's when you'll sign your consent for anesthesia. If at any time you have any questions ahead of time, just please be sure to call your physician's office. The number to Daily 6A is 794-3460. Feel free to call me at any time. I'm readily available to answer any other questions that you may have. Now a few um, questions you may have is how long you're in the hospital. You're in the hospital anywhere from two to three days, not counting the day of surgery. So if I had surgery today on Wednesday, Thursday's day one, Friday's day two, you may go home that day, or Saturday is day three. We do have all of our patients get dressed on their second day, and the reason for that is we want it to be more of a rehab kind of an experience. You're not really sick, you're just having a new joint put in. We do get our patients up the day of surgery. We'll get you up to a chair, we'll have you walk, and you'll see your physical therapist or occupational therapist on the day of surgery. The case manager will come to see you the day after surgery and finalize your plan, whether it is to go home or whether it is to go to rehab. If you plan on going to rehab, a key factor is your insurance, so be sure to call the number on the back of your insurance card to find out what your benefit is. Those of you who are planning on going home, we will arrange for a visiting nurse to come into your home for a therapist to come into your home and someone to come in to draw your labs and get any other equipment that you may need at home. It is a very smooth transition to go home and we will make sure that you're well prepared to go home. Included on the website is a question and answer and please refer to that for much more detailed information. Here at Bay State Medical Center, we do over 1,200 total hip and knee replacements a year and we're here to help you get back on your feet. If you have any other questions, please refer to our website, the question and answers, or also feel free to call us at 413-794-3460 and have a great day.